down here to ask you a question. Something's been bothering you, confusing you. When you up to Pat walked out on me, I didn't say anything, you know? Just being quietly in shock, laughing reasonably, and letting you have your eloquent exit, right? Forgive me. Sorry. Forgive me. This is probably a question I should have asked when you were packing. And it's taken me a few days to get the balls to come down here and see you, but I am madly pissed off here. You. This thing that's been bothering me, and we know that I have these major self worth issues. You always reminded me, but you helped me. And then Dad, who was all sensitive to me, a cloak and always made me feel dumb, and then you didn't. So I felt smart. But in retrospect, I was just taking your opinion and my intelligence on advisement. The point of being, in retrospect, that Daddy was probably right. Forgive me. For two days, I've been gorging myself on granola and anchovy paste, and I'm having trouble expressing. But <laughs> <laughs> the big question, and it's too hard. Did you ever think I was smart? Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm good. And you, God, making me read me throwing your books. Me and paintings and ugh, God, taste. You and your good taste. You took me down with a clay. I couldn't talk. But here's the second part of my question. Did you ever love me, Graydon? I need to know. Did you ever love and respect me? Did you learn anything from me? What were you thinking when you hid in my chest at night, scared? Did you ever stop in the middle of the goddamn day break and wonder what I was doing or feeling? Because I replay this thing in my head, and what I get to is that this was a sad and sordid, decorous little affair. And what offends me is that I feel like you've not answered me. I've just had one good thing in my life revealed to me as an absolute disaster. God, if you knew how much I hate myself for having let you lie to me for so long. I hate myself so much it cancels out even believing you.